accident is the most concerning problem in the entire world. The figure of accident has become increasing, and the most of people are injured or die from day to day. At this beginning, I would like to pay my credit respect to Mr. Lee Bon Chai, Deputy Director General of Balti Group, as well as Balti Management Team, Honorable Judges, Teacher, Contestant, Ladies and Gentlemen, and Distinguished Guests, a very good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. Well, my name is Nat Marilyn, a level six contestant from Belt International School, Campus 7, Luxon Hospital. Today, I'm so proud of myself to be chosen as the final round competitor. To begin, hey, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you a question. Do you want to reduce road accident? Oh, I'm so proud to hear that. In this special occasion, I have something more special to share with all of you with a remarkable topic, which is how to reduce road accident. Before I go to play into the main point, I would like to define two key terms first. First it is reduce. According to the Oxford Dictionary, reduce refer to make smaller or less in amount. Second, road accident mean a cross involving road or other vehicle. According to Prime Minister Hun Sen, he said that road accident is the most concerning problem that happened to our country that we need to solve this problem. That's why I'm standing here today to tell the whole ceremony about how to reduce road accident. Firstly, never drinking alcohol when dry. Drinking alcohol is a nautic factor. You know, road accident almost happen by drinking alcohol. Sometimes they get drunk, but they still try. So it is the causes that encourage problem after that. Because when we got drunk, we can lose consciousness of the mind that cannot control the vehicle while traveling. Moreover, we have to spend much money on the police punishment or use to cure our scar also. Secondly, government should threaten the traffic law. We know that traffic law is the most important part in society that everyone needs to obey. So, government must reinforce it like increase the required age of young people for driving and be awarding the driving license for them. In other hand, government must order police to be strict more and more. Why? 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 Mm, because many young and older people usually not to wear a helmet, go to, to the red light, don't respect each other while traveling, and they make a public place have no property. So the police officer can arrest them and catch them to pay for the fine. The thirdly point is the last point on my presentation. Educate people to know about the traffic law. Currently, have a lot of people that has less understanding about the traffic law. So, in order to make them understand, we must explain and teach them. Like by making a kind of short video that related to traffic law, or we can give advice or ideas to them to study at traffic law school, so they can understand about traffic law very well. In conclusion, all this point want to tell the host remedy about how to make road accident less in amount. We all know that no one cannot buy their life, but we can prevent it by obeying the traffic rule. Like one mistake from Mr. Siren Heath. He said that in a split second, you could ruin your future, enjoy or kill order, or tear a hole in the everyone's heart who love you. Now, my presentation come to the end. Thank you for paying attention and listening on my presentation. Thank you very much. My high respect to Mr. Lee Bon Chai and all participants. Hello. Good morning, my handsome judges. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> could you tell me, please, are your parents good drivers and what do you say to them to make them better? Uh, if my, uh, my parent is a driver, I'm going to tell them like, the three basic consequences of not following the traffic law. Firstly, mind get into an accident. On the street, that's not only our vehicle traveling, but there are a lot of car, truck, motorcycle that are doing traveling with us. At the same time, if we go through, we will get into an accident. Second, it is not legal for you to go in through the red line. No, sorry, uh, to not respect the traffic law. If we don't respect the traffic law, we will be arrested by the police officer and have to waste our time so much. Thirdly is, we can make the traffic got stuck. Like, as I mentioned about, that's not only our vehicle traveling. So if we go, we can make the traffic got stuck. Thank you. Good girl, wow. 
My high respect to Mr. Lehman Chai and all participants here. So, Marilyn, how can you advise people to avoid road accident? Thank you, Josh, for your very remarkable question. Two, uh, to tell the people to avoid from an accident. First, for my opinion, I want to make a kind of short video that related to a road accident and post on social media. Because nowadays, many people in Cambodia usually to play social media. So I will post it online, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, website, or YouTube. The second is, I want to make a poster that related to road accident, and then I stick it on a public place. Finally, when I come to school or go home, I interrupt all the value of respect traffic law to my friend, to my parent, to my sibling, to know about its important. Thank you. First of all, I would like to pay my highest respect to His Excellency Dr. Li Cheng, Member of Parliament for Phnom Penh Capital and Director General of Belty Group and Luk Chum Thiel, Honorable Judges, Management Team, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon. My name is Toda Chandaratini. I'm 14 years old and I study at Belty International School Campus 13 at Camco City in Level 12 Group 1. And today, I'm very honored to be standing here and present to all of you about my presentation, which is, one Khmer proverb mentioned that, when the culture falls, the nation falls. When the culture rises, the nation rises. But before I get started on this presentation, I would like to take this opportunity and raise up a few keywords to explain to you. His Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, culture is the characteristic of a particular group of people, cuisine and arts. Nations are the territory of a people from a single nation or country. Without further ado, let's get started on this presentation. In general perspective, we can identify a country or recognize a country by people who are living in a specific geographical, having their own culture. Hence, it is possibly can be said that culture significantly identify each race or nation. In April 27, 2019, at the Level 6 graduation, His Excellency Dr. Li Cheng, Member of Parliament of Phnom Penh Capital and Director General of Belty Group, also raised up this proverb because he wanted to inspire the young generation to understand how valuable the culture is for the country. And for today, I will be explaining about one Khmer proverb that mentioned, when the culture falls, the nation falls, when the culture rises, the nation rises. The first point is roots of the nation. Generally, culture refers to literature, religion, tradition, food, and clothing, which are inherited by ancestors from generation to generation. Fine artworks of Khmer, such as Bravihia, the Angkor Wat, the Aptara Dance, and the Shadow Theater, which UNESCO recognized that there are no other beautiful features compared to our country. A Frenchman, Mr. Louis Delaporte, visited the Angkor area in 1866 and cherished Khmer art. The former king of Cambodia allowed Mr. Louis Delaporte to bring back Khmer artifacts and related documents back to France to widely spread the Khmer civilization. And this is a great opportunity for other countries to get to know us better because of our culture. The second point is economic development. Tourism in our country has gained every year. Due to the influx of tourists and incomes, Cambodia's economy has grown. According to Sinhur, one of the most popular news in China said that Cambodia's tourism earned gross revenues of 3.6 billion US dollars in 2017, a 13% rise compared to a year earlier. Gong Sapiria, the director of Ministry of Tourism of Statistics and Planning Department, said that tourism sector has contributed 12.3% to Cambodia's GDP last year. According to KhmerTimesKH.com, tourism sector has earned 3.4 billion US dollars in revenue last year, according to the Ministry of Tourism. The third point is culture is a national pride. France took over Cambodia since 1863 to 1953. We spent about 90 years living under the French rule. They ruined our culture, and even the economy of our country shrank dramatically during the French colonial. In 1975 to 1979, the culture and religion was devastated by Khmer Rouge. 
Angkor is one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. The influence of Khmer art plays a fundamental role in the distinctive evolution. In conclusion, one Khmer proverb mentioned that when the culture falls, the nation falls. When the culture rises, the nation rises has a deep meaning to it, and that includes roots of the nation, economic development, and culture is a national pride. So, what can you do to keep our culture and civilization long-lasting? Well, the major reason is education. With education, you will know how important your culture is, and with education, you will know how to protect your culture from being abandoned. According to the Prime Minister of Cambodia, Somdai Akhet Mohansen Apadai De Chohun Sain, he wanted to inspire the young generation to know how important our culture is and to become the pillar of Cambodia. As a Cambodian citizen, I will commit that I will study hard and I will protect my culture from getting abandoned. Thank you. My highest respect to His Excellency Dr. Lee Cheng and Lo Chum Deal and all participants. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, how can we all help to make Cambodia rise? Thank you for your wonderful question. Uh, to this question, the answer is that what we need to do to help our country rise is to work together as a teamwork, and to. Because when you work together as a teamwork, there will be peace. And as you know, back then in Khmer Rouge in 1975, there was a lot of turmoil, a lot of damages to our country. So the reason that we got back was on January 7th, and this is a very good thing, and this is a very mem memorable day to Cambodia. Thank you. My high respect to His Excellency Dr. Lee Chang and Lok Chup Diu and all the participants. My question is, how can you motivate people to maintain our culture? Thank you for your wonderful question. To, mo put, to motivate people to maintain our culture is to spread the culture to other countries or other tourism, or to spread it on the social media such as Facebook, Instagram, or on the television or radio, or to understand more about the culture of our country. Thank you.